Hello everyone and welcome to the SharePoint Online course. This course is a complete guide to Microsoft SharePoint Online. This course is for everyone or anyone who wants to learn about SharePoint and gain some skills in SharePoint Online. This is a beginners to expert level course. My name is Toshit Bhardwaj and I hold Masters of Technology in Computing. I have over 25 years of experience in IT and I've been working in SharePoint since 2001 when the first version of SharePoint was released by Microsoft. So in total, I have over 22 years of experience working with Microsoft SharePoint. I'm currently working as a Microsoft 365 specialist and I look after the Microsoft 365 environment. So I not only work with SharePoint, but I work across all the Microsoft 365 applications and services. This course is divided into 21 sections and 178 video lectures. Step-by-step -step instructions and real-world examples are provided throughout the course so that you have a good understanding of why and how you should be using different applications and services within SharePoint Online. By the end of this course, you will have a complete understanding of what SharePoint is and how it actually operates and integrates with third-party applications and other Microsoft 365 applications. You'll have the knowledge and skills necessary to confidently leverage SharePoint Online to enhance collaboration, streamline the processes, and boost productivity within your organization. Within the course, we will be learning everything about SharePoint Online. We will start with the very basics of SharePoint, such as what is SharePoint Online? What are some of the benefits and features of SharePoint? And then slowly move into the different aspects of SharePoint Online. We will be setting up an environment from scratch so that you get an understanding of how to set up an environment by getting the Microsoft trial licensing. Then we will move on to getting on with SharePoint Online. We will navigate through the interface of SharePoint Online and see what are the different sort of features and how to access SharePoint Online. Then we will move into creating SharePoint sites, you know, whether those are team sites or communication sites and how to design site elements such as modifying and setting up your site navigation, your site logo, you know, designing the site header and site footer, etc. And then setting up and creating document libraries and how to use conditional formatting in libraries how to add or share or upload documents within document libraries and how to actually use metadata columns to better manage your libraries and whether you want to use folder structures or metadata columns to basically better manage your documents in document libraries. Then we will be moving on to SharePoint lists, talking about how to create lists and how you can actually create lists using different methods provided by Microsoft. We will be setting up different pages within SharePoint, whether those are the wiki pages or the site pages or web part pages, and how to further customize those pages, how to add different kind of web parts on those pages, how to add a Twitter feed on those pages, and maybe a YouTube video on those pages. Then we will be creating how to use news posts within SharePoint, how to create news articles and display those news articles on your SharePoint pages. We will also be looking at SharePoint site templates, which are provided by Microsoft and how to use those templates to basically create a SharePoint site. We will be looking into the SharePoint Online integration with other Microsoft 365 apps, such as Microsoft Planner, Power Apps, and Power Automate and Power BI, which you can actually use to customize your forms and design business processes and workflows and create Power BI reports. 
we will talk more about setting up hub sites in SharePoint. How to register those hub sites and how to basically create hub sites. And how to customize SharePoint communication site. So we will be customizing the communication site from scratch. So that will give you a better understanding of how to design your SharePoint sites homepage. What sort of elements and design elements and the layouts you can actually use to customize and make your SharePoint site pages look beautiful. We will be looking into OneDrive for Business. What is OneDrive for Business and how to actually use OneDrive for Business. We will then deep dive into SharePoint permissions. We'll try to understand how the SharePoint permissions are basically set up within SharePoint. How does document libraries and lists inherit those permissions from the parent? And how you can actually create custom permissions for your document libraries, lists, or maybe some individual documents. And how to basically share those documents and manage access for your shared contents. We will then start creating a subsite and we will look into how to enable the creation of your subsites and whether you should create a subsite or if there are actually any better options for rather than creating a subsite. So this course will basically provide you end to end skills within SharePoint online. And by the end of the course, you will have a great skill set in SharePoint. You will know everything about SharePoint online. So whether you are a business user who's trying to use SharePoint, whether you are a site administrator who's trying to manage SharePoint, or whether you are just a site admin who wants to manage and administer the SharePoint site, you will have all those necessary skills to basically work with your users and understand their problems and try to resolve their problems. So this course will give you a very deep understanding, which is end to end understanding and hands on experience on using SharePoint and basically touching every element within SharePoint online. So let's start on this journey together and try to learn about SharePoint and be an expert in SharePoint online and use our skill set to basically better organize the use of SharePoint and boost some productivity within our organizations. Thank you.